Hey everyone, I'm back with my final long-term review of the North Face Access 22 liter backpack. Um, right off the bat, this is gonna be an excellent review because I think this is an excellent bag. Um, I did get a lot of questions about the load styles or the load capacity of this bag. So I, I think uh, for everybody's sake, I'm just gonna show you uh, my loadout on a daily basis. And I'm basically right now have this loaded to capacity. So it'll give you an idea of the kind of stuff you can carry. Um, one thing you need to keep in mind is the side bottle pocket is very rigid. Um, so it's hard, it's actually pretty hard to get the bottle in there. Once this is like sealed in there, you kind of have to like, like really press it in there. And as you can kind of tell, the bottle does go in at like almost a 45 degree angle. So it does cut into the space of the, of the pack. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, so there is my water bottle pocket. Now let's, let's get into the load. Again, there's a lock here, which is great. This is metal with a little bit of plastic. So this is a nice high quality latch system here. So let's open that up. So this is basically, I can't fit any more things into this bag. So this is completely at capacity. Um, so, okay, here we go. My shirt, pants. Uh, I got my keyboard, 10 keyless from WASD in case you're wondering. Uh, not just notebook. This is, I think the nomadic notebook. My belt. USB cable for my keyboard. My uh, utility pouch. This is uh, just, a, just a Chrome Industries uh, small pouch. There's no organization in it. It's just, it's just a little stuff pouch. Just throw all your things in there. And then my uh, bike pump, manual bike pump. Uh, this works great, but man, you gotta get a good, uh, get a good workout uh, trying to use that. Okay, so show you the inside of the bag. Hopefully you can get a good view. I have all the lights available in this house turned on, plus I'm right by the window. So hopefully you can get right in there and see the details. Um, so inside here, nice stretch mesh pocket here. Up here, surprisingly, this is actually a very useful pocket up here. Uh, I got more stuff in here. My RHA um, earbuds and then my Jaybird wireless earbuds. Um, up here, uh, Open that up. I have my Microsoft uh, mouse. It just it's one of these. This is an excellent mouse if you if you're uh, packing on a small backpack. You don't have the big bulge of a regular mouse. This is just this is amazing. I love this thing, um, and it works on AAA batteries. Um, pen. Uh, my clip nail clipper. Love this thing. And then, well, this doesn't really work because it's not it's not deep enough but I just carry my gum in here. Very high tech stuff. In here, I don't carry anything. <coughs> this is a fleece lined pocket. This is made for tablets. Um, I find if you put stuff in here, it kind of pushes this part of the bag forward. So you're limiting the amount of space you can carry in here. It's already pretty limited. In this little mesh pocket, I have my sanitizer stuff. And then in here I keep uh, just some chapstick, some, uh, wipes for my lenses, you know, eye drops, just small things in here. This doesn't have a lot of flex to it, so whatever you put in here, just try to keep it flat. Otherwise, it's gonna interfere with your access into the pack here. <clears throat> and in the back, I'm not gonna take this stuff out, but uh, this is where I keep the stuff that uh, I can't be without, but I don't need every single day, which is my charger for my iPhone. And then my uh, Anchor, I think this is Anchor, yeah, Anchor battery pack. Um, this thing is great. It's got quick charge. It's small. Uh, it's compact. I highly recommend it. I got it on Amazon. Um, it's, it wasn't crazy expensive. And then there's my Surface laptop here, which I'm not going to take out. <coughs> so that's it. Uh, and this, I also got a few questions about what the heck this thing is. This is another Chrome Industries pouch. This is uh, the cell phone pouch. When I bought this, they only made one kind of it. Uh, they might have more versions of it now, but this is just a straightforward cell phone pouch. Velcro, it's got a little keyring loop here for keys and then another latch point here. And then it just Velcros on. It's not, it's nothing fancy. This is just very basic, but it works great. Um, so that's it. These are all the things I can carry in this pack. Uh, sorry, outside I keep my wipes and my tissues out here. And then on this side, I keep my, my wallet. This is a Belkin. Um, I love this thing. 
Very, very slim, very minimal. Uh, not Belkin, sorry, Belroy. This is a Belroy wallet. Um, this thing is awesome. Um, that's it. That's the maximum load of this bag can carry. Um, you cannot carry anything else. There is maybe if you want to dump another thing on top and really press it down, but that's that's too much for me. Um, another question that I got a lot is, is this bag good for school? My answer to that is definitely no. Um, if Especially if you have a lot of books and you have to carry like a binder or anything like that. Um, this The way this bag is laid out, it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's very narrow and it's very tall. And the way the, the way the access works here is that it's very narrow at the top, but it opens up a little at the bottom. So it kind of, if you're looking at this side, it kind of goes, it kind of goes like this, then it goes in a little. And then the front is kind of just rounded a little. So it, and then the sides, they, they chamfer in a little. So it's not a straight box shape, which is ideal for a backpack, uh, a school backpack, um, but I'll, I'll show you. So this is uh, my son's stuff. He's, he hasn't started school yet, but it's coming up. This is just a five star, uh, I think this is a two inch, three inch binder. So this doesn't have anything in it. And this doesn't even fit. So that's out, okay? So here we got some folders and just a notebook. So I'm gonna pop those in. Those fit great, uh, but check out how much space you got left in there. Can you see that? Not a lot. Um, so this isn't, this isn't, I, I would still say, unless you just carry a laptop and like a notebook, and if you consider that school, then I guess that can work. But as a textbook with notebooks and binders backpack, this is absolutely a no. Um, one of the things you need to understand about this bag, even though I'm saying it now, it's still going to surprise you uh, how little you can fit in here. You have to really think about uh, the stuff that you need to carry on an everyday basis. This is a true uh, EDC backpack, everyday carry backpack. When I moved over from the Nomadic to this bag, um, I couldn't fit all the stuff that I carried in there. So I, I laid out all my stuff kind of like I did on this table here. And I said, uh, did I use this yesterday? And if the answer was no, uh, then it, did, then it doesn't go in this backpack. This is the stuff that you take out every single day and you use every single day. Um, if you're the type of person that likes to pack for what if scenarios, like what if I get stuck in a train station for three days and I need power and I need an extra charger and I need all my dongles and I need like a sleeping bag and a rain jacket. This isn't, this isn't the kind of bag for you. This isn't for the what if scenarios. If you like to carry extra stuff for security, uh, for, for peace of mind, I should say, this isn't gonna be the bag for you because this is a very limited carry bag. You're gonna have to really think about the stuff that you put into this bag, which is one of the things I loved about it because everything was available to me immediately when I needed it. I didn't have to go dig around the bag because it's such a limited carry that as soon as I pop this open, it's like, oh yeah, my stuff's right there. Boom, I'm done, close it and it's done, I'm over it. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna say it again. This is a very limited carry bag. It's a 22 liter, it's very rigid. So it's not like a bag where it can expand and compress. This is this is a lot like the Peak Design where it's just very hard shell of a of a pack. Um, and it's very slim. Everything about this is very streamlined. Um, okay, so I hope that covers uh, the kind of stuff you can carry. And I hope this gives you a good visualiz visualization of all the stuff that you can carry in this bag. This seem, This is actually a pretty good amount. And I, I really thought about how to lay all that stuff into this bag so <clears throat> I can make the most use of the limited space that's available here. Let's talk about how great this bag is. I'm gonna start with materials first. I'm gonna give uh, the materials uh, a nine. Um, very high quality materials. The most of the outside of this bag is made out of 840D uh, ballistic nylon, which is a heavier, thicker material. Um, you're gonna feel that a little plus the rigid frame that it has. It's like a steel or aluminum, whatever frame that keeps the shape. This is a slightly heavy bag. It's about four and a half pounds, maybe a little more than four and a half pounds. It's not, um, it's not a deal breaker. Like you're not gonna just pick it up empty and be like, Jesus, why is this so heavy? It's just noticeable. That, that's what I'll say about it. It's noticeably heavier than the other bags that I've used, but it, it is by no means an unbearable amount of weight. You're just gonna notice it. You're gonna put it on, you're gonna put it on your back and you're gonna feel it. Like, this, is, this feels a little bit heavy. Um, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so ballistic nylon and then just uh, stretch polyester, uh, 500 degree stretch polyester throughout the bag. I'm assuming that's probably the interior, but the exterior is super, super durable and I love it. This still looks brand new. 
Um, and I've, I've given this bag hell. Like uh, the times that I've used it, it's been uh, over 100 degrees and I've been riding in, on my bike. So this has gotten soaked completely, like completely soaked. Like you can almost feel like you can wring this out by the time I'm done riding it. And I mean, look at it. It still looks, it still looks great. I don't know what kind of black magic they got going on back here, but this does not look salty or gross in any way. This just dries up and it looks like the day uh, before I even wrote it. Um, this has shapes on it, um, but you know what? If you wear a backpack and you're a sweaty person, you're gonna sweat no matter what kind of technology they got going on back here. It supposedly has ventilation channels, blah, 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 all that stuff. It's comfortable, that's all you need to know, and you're gonna sweat on your back, no matter what, um, unless you wanna single shoulder it. But if you wear this and you tighten it up against your back, you're gonna sweat no matter what. Um, these shoulder pads feel great. There, you can feel like the holes in here. You can, oh, I don't know if you can see that, maybe the outline of it, but it's very ventilated and it's very, very comfortable. Um, I like these things a lot and I like the way everything, everything about this bag is designed to look minimal and slim and, uh, and just re very, very streamlined. Like there's no zipper pulls, there's no dangling cords anywhere. Even, even this bit where it has the most dangling parts like this is included, it's part of the actual shoulder strap itself. This is usually a separate piece here that you pull to release, but this is actually built into the shoulder strap and I love this. I, I didn't notice this right away, uh, but when I switched over to a different pack like that one, uh, which I'll talk about in another video, that's the Prima system from Boundary Supply. Um, this feels great that you just push this and it releases the tension of the pack and it's great. But this is basically the only dangling piece of the bag. This is a very slim, minimal look, and I love, love, love this look. It's a very, very good look. There's, there's no time when I'm using this bag where I go and I reach for something, and I go, man, I wish, I wish that felt better because that feels kind of cheap. Like, especially this situation right here, the clicking and the popping, like, that feels good every single, <coughs> every, excuse me, sorry, every single time you do this. Like in a quiet office, I have this laying on my desk. I need something, you just hear a little click, pop, and that, that just sounds so, so good. Um, these pull tabs, they work great. Um, it's gotta be a deep, uh, something something pretty long. Um, like, cause like I said, I have something like this and this goes down pretty deep, uh, pretty deep into the bag. Um, so the pull here doesn't really do anything. Everything feels great. Uh, feels strong, feels durable. Um, nothing feels cheap. This doesn't feel wobbly. Uh, it doesn't. It, no, nothing feels cheap. I, I'm I'm very timid about giving nines because it's so close to being perfect. Um, but no, I'm gonna give this a nine. This is an absolute nine for materials, no question. The rigid frame here feels great. It's like I said, it's not a super heavy bag, but you're gonna feel it when you put it on. Um, like I said before, there's no zipper pulls. These I don't believe these are YKK zippers but they don't feel cheap. Like they don't have that loud whiny sound. They feel, they feel and sound great. Never getting stuck. They got nice uh, aqua guards on here. Everywhere here, nice little zipper garage up here to cover the openings of the zippers. Everything about this bag is so very thoughtful. Um, but like I said, there was never a point where I go and I reach for something and I'm like, ooh, that doesn't feel, that doesn't feel quite right. Everything feels right every time you go into this bag. Um, so yeah, materials are a nine. Zipper tabs feel good, interior feels good, good zippers. <clears throat> and this nice stretch mesh, which I love. Um, I, got, I got introduced to this for the Peak Design backpack. They use this kind of stretch mesh a lot. And I think this is just like the great material for the interior of the bag. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of give. It's a great, great bag. Um, and this, it's not ever gonna get old, trust me. That feels great every single time, I promise you. Just hearing those clicks and the pops, it doesn't get old. Okay, so let's move on to the build quality. I'm gonna give this a nine as well, and saying that two nines back to back, um, it's probably gonna be the highest rated bag uh, that I've given so far. Um, Peak Design, I think I gave that a nine and an eight. Um, so this is a nine nine for materials and build quality. There's there's, I kind of talked a lot about, about this during the materials, but there isn't anywhere in this bag that feels cheap. Everything is thoughtful. Everything, <clears throat> everything has a purpose. Everything that's on this bag reinforces the simplicity of it, the streamlineness of it. It's a very, very simple looking bag, but it'll surprise you with the amount of cool stuff that it's got in it. 
and I love I love that about this bag. Even like something like this, like the tracks are hidden inside, and it just it just it, I don't know. This isn't this wasn't necessary, but I love that it just keeps it out of sight. It just hides it. Just everything about this bag is minimal and clean, and I absolutely love that about this bag. And the bottom of this part where you pull this loop has a little reinforced uh, material here. Just like the high wear areas have reinforcements, like down here as well. You see that? Like stuff that's going to make contact with the floor. Uh, it feels reinforced and stronger. There's nothing down here. This doesn't go in all the way. Um, but this here just has extra coating in it just because those are high wear areas. And again, very thoughtful design. Um, the side pocket <coughs> is very rigid, like I said before. It does have a little elastic band back here. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little stretch. When, when this is brand new, this is very, very, very tight. You're gonna have a hard time getting stuff in there at first. So right now I've broken it in a little bit. Um, but yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. So inside here, it's pretty soft because the, the volume actually cuts into the bag. Um, so just keep that in mind. But side pockets feel great. They've got a little bit of give. I wish, I wish they were a little bit bigger, but um, and I'll, I'll, I'll actually, you know what, this will be a good time to bring this up. My U-lock. The only reason I wish this was a little bigger was because this doesn't fit cl uh, closed like that. Like, you see that? I rode, I rode it this way once and it made me nervous the whole ride. Because uh, when I ride, I'm kind of at an angle. So it's kind of this way because I'm leaning forward. And I always felt like this was just going to slowly slide out and fall out. So what I was doing to compensate for that... I was leaving it open. So I would pack it this way. I would put this in first, and then this goes at the top, and then it fits beautifully. So I was doing that. And you can see there, that fits way, way better. So just a small little adjustment, and then everything was perfect. So yes, materials, build quality, nines. There's really no, like, again, I'm gonna keep saying this because uh, I need to justify these nines. There's nowhere in this bag where, where I ever used it, I reached in, grabbed something, and I, I was like, man, that feels, that doesn't feel right. That feels cheap. Everything feels great. This hard shell up here, the rigid frame, the little, the little bands here, everything. The mesh, the, the build quality inside, everything. Like, everything that's in here looks brand new, even though I've used the hell out of it. Nice quality zippers. They're not YKK, but they're not cheap, cheap either. As far as I know, they're not YKK. I couldn't find anything on the site that says YKK, and there's nothing on here that labels them YKK. Um, but they're still great zippers nonetheless. Um, um, I haven't talked about water resistance. So a ballistic nylon is very water resistant. It's not waterproof, like you can't submerge this in the water, but in the rain, it's gonna be fine. I did get caught once in the rain for about 10 minutes in my ride in the morning. It was a light, light drizzle enough to get my pants wet <clears throat> uh, and I got to work and the first thing I checked like something that happened to my nomadic this was my kind of uh, test like the canary in the cage kind of test um, so I open this up I keep I keep this up here and this was completely fine no moisture no nothing uh, <clears throat> I'll stress again this was a light drizzle for about 10 maybe 15 minutes and this worked great now one thing you need to keep in mind this clamshell opening this creates a seam, a very small seam around the side of the bag here. So that is open. <clears throat> so if for whatever reason you have your back, uh, I don't know, if you have your bag off and face down and it's raining and the water's coming down this way, then yeah, the water's gonna get in like this if you have the bag face down for some reason in the rain. Then yeah, you're gonna have some rain coming in here because this isn't a watertight seal here. This is pretty open. But it was never an issue for me. Like in normal conditions, your bag is gonna be upright this way. Maybe, maybe uh, especially if it's on your back and you're riding, it's gonna be leaning forward. So there's gonna be no, no issue with water getting in this way if you're wearing it normally. And there's enough overlap here, you see that? To where even if water does get in, it's probably gonna go in about that up to here. It's gonna hit this right here. Cause there is, there's enough thickness here to cover, to cover for, for rain getting in. So, so keep that in mind. Um, I didn't have any issue with the rain. The water beat it off the material just fine. Um, everything wiped down. I just gave it a few hits and the water just kind of fell off of this thing. This is, materials are excellent, excellent. I can't stress enough how good this bag is. Uh, organization, I'm gonna give this a seven. Slightly above average, a little bit higher than above average. <clears throat> 
because for I'm taking into consideration how uh, minimalistic this bag is and how surprising the amount of pockets are in this thing. Um, the outside pockets, <clears throat> these are two separate pockets. They, they overlap on top of each other, kind of like that. Um, so whatever you put in one volume, um, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna bump into the other side, but it's not gonna mix together. Um, so this is great for me. I usually keep my uh, Leatherman here, my, my wallet here. Actually, no, my Leatherman on this side, plus my wipes that I use uh, <clears throat> to wipe myself down after I ride. Um, and then on this other side, I'll do keys and my wallet. And then this mesh pocket here, again, this, this, is, uh, this is really amazing to me because I, I can see other bag makers where they wouldn't even, even bother doing something like this. They put pockets in as many places as they could without it interfering with the rest of the design. Inside here, another nice deep mesh pocket. This goes in about, uh, about the inside of my wrist, so that's about as deep as that pocket goes. And that's just another throw pocket. And then this, like I gotta commend North Face for this. Um, this is overkill, I'll say that off the bat. Like, you could easily just kept it like this and you can reach in and grab your stuff. But the fact that they're trying, like they sat there and thought about how to get access to your everyday gear a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. And this stuff is just super, super thoughtful. Like, I, I gotta call it out. Because whether or not you find it useful, the fact that they're even trying to do something like this, and they're the only ones trying something like this, I, I gotta call it out and say it's great. Um, especially for my mouse. Uh, Cause this guy's pretty thin. Um, so when I go in the morning and I need this guy, that actually works great. <clears throat> there it is, I got it. I love this thing. Um, just good organization here. This is fleece lined, um, so your stuff won't be scratched. Also worth noting, there's a little fleece lining inside here as well which again, another, another high mark for materials. Like all, all this, whole, this whole side of, this side of the interior is like that fleece lined and it, it is great um, to not scratch your stuff. This one is another pocket, another throw pocket. This doesn't have much give. So whatever you put in here, just try to keep it flat. Uh, Cause the more stuff you pack here and the more stuff you pack here, you're going to shrink, you're gonna shrink the amount of uh, space that you have to get inside of your pack. So just keep that in mind. Um, what else? Organization. So one pocket, two, three, four, five, six pens, seven, eight, <clears throat> and then finally nine. Again, I already talked about this, but this is so uh, friggin' important. Like, I, I could have easily seen them not even try to put a pocket up here, but the fact that they did uh, means so much to me because there's just another spot here where you can just put something and forget about it. Like, I never even thought about. Like, man, this is in the way. I wish I could put my stuff somewhere else. No, this is exactly where I needed it to be. And it completely, it's completely out of the way. Um, but it's good peace of mind to have this up here. So there is a lot going on in this bag, even though it's a very limited carry. Uh, the organization and the thoughtfulness everywhere is apparent every time you use this bag. Um, so I have no problems giving this a 7 for organization. So seven organization, nine, nine for materials and build quality. This is an excellent, excellent pack. If you can accept the fact that this is a limited carry pack. If you can't get your head around that, if this isn't for you, if you have to carry your, your tech emergency kit or a first aid kit or a rain jacket, extra pair of shoes, <clears throat> plus everything else, this is not gonna be the bag for you. I promise you're gonna be disappointed. Get your head right. Accept the fact that you're gonna to have to dump most of your stuff because this is a true everyday pack. The things that you pack in here are things that you're gonna use and take out and put in your hands every single day. For me, with the exception, is the stuff in here. Because this stuff I don't use every day, but it's so out of the way that I don't care. Just put my extra stuff in there and just go on about your day. <clears throat> this is an excellent pack, man, I'm serious. Um, another thing that's super thoughtful is this little, uh, this little handle here. Like it does that whole eject thing for your laptop. It's so awesome. Like nobody else is doing that as far as I know. Um, it doesn't add any more weight. It doesn't add any more to the expense of the bag. But the fact that they're even doing it and the fact that it works so well, like you gotta commend them for that. It's, 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 a, it's, it's great. It's great that they're doing it. It's great that they're trying new things. Um, and it's, it's North Face, so it's got a lifetime warranty. I, I can't recommend this bag enough. Um, I'm gonna talk about the 28 liter for a second. 
Um, but that's it for the review. If you want to stick around for my thoughts on the 28 liter, uh, feel free to stick around. I initially bought the 28 liter pack, <coughs> um, but it was too big for me. I noticed uh, it was a little bit taller and just a little bit wider, but the thing that did it for me was when I'm riding, uh, I'm, the top of the pack was hitting the back of my helmet. That, that may sound a little crazy, but I swear that happened. And at that point I was like, okay, that's it. I'm done with this bag. I can't, I can't carry around this uh, huge bag. I looked at the measurements online uh, and it's, it's not that much bigger, but for some reason it, it felt much bigger than this bag did on my back. I don't know what it was. It was definitely taller. Um, and the other thing I noticed too, when I was trying to single shoulder it, um, I felt that it was kind of unwieldy. Like when I would get on the train, I would swing it over to one shoulder and put my back up against the side of the, of the, of the wall on the train. Um, and I try to put the bag in front of me, kind of on the side, and it felt too damn big. Um, both because it it's a rigid, rigid bag, but it just felt, it felt too big. Like when I was walking with it with a single shoulder, like the momentum of it would kind of, kind of make me adjust it. Like it'll, 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 it'll make my posture a little stronger to try to keep it in place because it felt like it was kind of going out of control for me. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind if you're interested in the 28 liter. The only difference as far as pocketing goes, like I mentioned before, is that it has an extra side pocket. Uh, but that is it. Uh, and I also recommend if you're interested in this bag to buy it online so you can get it brand new sealed in a plastic bag. When I went to a North Face stores near my area, there's one way north and one in downtown from where I am. None of them had these out on display. Um, they had to go in the back and get it and it was pretty worn out. Um, like this uh, this little latch mechanism here. It was pretty worn um, And I took it home because I took it home because I couldn't wait because I'm, I'm an idiot I needed to have it once I made up my mind um, But that was a 28 liter. So I recommend you check it out in the store if you're interested But buy it online so you can make sure you get a nice brand new one because you don't you don't want a bag That's already worn out. Um, you want to do that yourself. It's part of the experience uh, But that's it um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Keep an eye out for, for my first impressions on that. I'll probably do that next week because um, I'm not going to have any more time today to, to do another video. But that's it. Thanks, and uh, have a good one. Highly recommend. I love this bag.